hey guys good morning and welcome back to my channel so i'm at work um i want to share another video with you guys and it's about seven things you are doing wrong all your life like i'm so excited to share this video because i discovered some of them and i was like wow so i'm like why don't i share them with you guys so this is a video on seven seven things you've been doing wrong that's not important and make sure to like the video if you like it and share the video with as many people as you want to share it feel free and subscribe below if you haven't subscribed like the video if you like it so that i'll do more of this i have a ton of them like more than 100 of them and comment below so that we can chat below together and yeah that's it why a lot of people use um perfumes wrongly there's this french name a du perfume god i don't know whether i pronounced that right um french kind of names attached to the bottle of perfumes then i was thinking it's just for style but actually they have meaning okay they are just words and terms used to tell you how concentrated that perfume is it is wrong to wear certain perfumes to certain places like work like church where a lot of people will be gathered to you it's quite offensive to use strong perfumes some people are asthmatic and you don't want people to land in the hospital because of you and it's not just good manners and they speak bad of you i know many people must have done this myself too because we didn't know so don't worry i got you girl so that's why i had to include this as one of the things you are doing wrong probably you might be doing wrong probably you might not you want to share this video with someone that must be doing this wrong please share this video on facebook on whatsapp everywhere to perfumes are not all the same yeah you don't wear them you don't wear strong perfumes to guard dreams and all of that um you don't wear strong perfumes during summer you wear them during winter you know the cold can just beat them down but this subtle ones during summer because the temperature is already hot so the molecules fly faster so yeah so I'm going to just run through the chart of all the types of perfumes we have and according to their strength so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is based on the amount of mini um, perfume or fragrance oil contained in the perfume. The higher the amount of fragrance, fragrance oil in the perfume, the stronger it is. And the lower the amount of fragrance oil in the perfume, the more subtle it is. That's what I was trying to explain to you guys. So I'm going to run a chart for you guys right now so that you see what I'm talking about. The highest perfume there is perfume and it has 20 to 30 percent of fragrance oil. The second is Ide perfume, it has 15 to 20 percent fragrance oil. Then we have toilet, toilet that has 5 to 15 percent fragrance oil. Then we have colognes that have 2 to 4 percent fragrance oil. So you can see it's increasing to the left and it's reducing to the right. Yeah, guys, that's just what I was trying to explain. We all have that one bra that is straps are detachable. The detachable strap of these bras are not for like, before I thought they were convenient in order to be able to remove it and just easily wash them or to like change the straps but that's not what it's really made for. When you have bras like this, they are easily convertible to a lot of outfits you need to wear. Like for example, certain outfits like the eraser top can show your bras peeping at the edges, but you can easily avert this by fixing the straps normally at the front, the way I did it. Then when you turn it over to the other side at the back, you are going to sort of give a crisscross crossing section going on you take the right strap put it at the left hook and the left strap and put it at the right hook that way you are going to, it's going to create a crossed back detail for you which is super super easy like so and when you hide wear it under such clothes like the razor top 
you have no going it's going to be hidden and you have your brand peeping out through it another way you can convert it in, is into the outer neck top you need just one strap and you're going to hook it on either side of the front claps of the bra and you have a hot alternate bra yeah guys not everybody knew this the next one is foundation most of us when we go to get a foundation we just pick up the foundation of our ch choice and match it to our face this is supposed not to be because our face is always facing the sun and as a result becomes darker than our, the rest of our body due to the sun tan and sometimes become fairer than most of our bodies because we tend to pay more attention to it than any other part so the right way to test the color of your foundation when buying a new foundation is to match it to the color of your neck yes because when you don't match it to the color of your neck and you have double when you put the foundation your face could either look lighter than your body or darker than your body which you don't want so by the time you match your foundation to your neck and you apply it on your face it's going to be seamless like this foundation looks very light on my face but it's perfect match to my neck down below so when i've blended it out you're going to see it's more natural it will give the illusion like my skin my complexion is uniform is one is even around my entire body i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so next time you go out there to buy foundation match it to your neck and not your face you'll probably be having a lot of issues not getting the right shade of foundation and you'll be complaining this could be what you've been doing wrong all the year long yeah Guys, the next one is your bobby pins. The bobby pin has a smooth two edges, a smooth and a rough. Normally, we all like to fix our bobby pin such that the rough surface will be facing up and the smooth surface goes underneath the hair. I don't know why we do that. Maybe because we think it's some kind of detail added to the bobby pin, but that's actually wrong. That rough side is actually supposed to go beneath your hair and the smooth side to the surface. This is because those um, those rough edges were made to form a nice grip to your scalp underneath so that your bobby pins don't fall off. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So it's actually the other way you wear your bobby pins. Yeah. Do you know that the little can opener on top of your malt or your can drinks is not just made to open the can? Yes, it's not just made to open the can and just dip your straw in. The right way to doing this, after opening the can, you're supposed to twist this little opener around and that tiny little hole that is always there we've never wondered and we thought is useless it's actually meant to hold your straw that's where you're meant to put your straw through so whether you're traveling or in a busy place your straw is unshakable and it just remains firm in your drink the next one is earpiece the traditional way we know how to put our earpiece is actually wrong. This is because it easily falls off and it keeps strain on the little cartilage bones on the side of our ear. The right way is turning the earpiece upside down like so and attaching and hanging the wire over your um, the external part of your ear. The pin, I think that's what it's called. That's what, I hope you understand like so. This way it's secured and you have no pain. Yeah, that's it. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just below. It's somewhere below. And like the video and comment below. Let me know which of them surprised you the most. I'm sure all of them surprised you the most. And yeah, that's it, guys. And I'll see you next time. Yes. Away. If you want to know how I'm doing all of that, stay tuned. You want to subscribe? You want to subscribe?